Hi everybody and happy video Monday, Tisha Mahar here. For this week's video, I want to talk to you guys about carbohydrates, carbs, as well as carbophobia. So one thing I've noticed with working with my clients is that my younger clients tend to have this fear about carbs, whereas my older clients tend to have this fear about fat. So the baby boomers um, were brought up when the low fat craze kind of hit the marketplace running. And so as a result, these people are reading labels always looking for low fat. Whereas the younger generation, those in their 20s, 30s, they're all hyped up about carbohydrates because, um, low carb dieting and ketogenic diets have become so so crazy popular in the last few years. So a few things I want to say about this. Number one, right off the bat, carbohydrates are your friend. Protein is your friend. Fat is your friend. Food is your friend. Please don't fear your food, whether it's carbs, whether it's fat, whether it's um, calories. Try not to let it make you rigid and miserable. Um, really try to keep an open mind about this. Keep everything in perspective. You need carbohydrates, you need proteins, you need fats. All of them have a purpose in your diet, in your life, and all of them will serve your best health. One thing about carbohydrates is that some people will notice that when they start to eat carbohydrates on a regular basis, like, like starchy carbohydrates or refined carbohydrates, their appetite increases. So I would say the number one thing, if you feel like you have a little bit of a sticky relationship with carbohydrates, like you feel that carbohydrate rich food make you crave more, look at the types of carbohydrates you're eating. Usually there's processed foods in the mix. When there's processed foods in the mix, your palate is going to be excited uh, big time by all the different flavors and chemicals, preservatives, and also your brain, your dopamine center in your brain is going to go off like fireworks every time you taste those types of foods. So if you're having a sticky relationship with carbohydrates, if you're craving, if you're binging, anything like that, first, and this will probably take care of it in and of itself, get rid of all of the processed carbs. That especially means the refined carbohydrates like chips or bread or, um, you know, whatever, candy bars, fancy protein bars, all this stuff. Go back to the basics first and see how you handle that. Berries, sweet potatoes, carrots, turnips, uh, you know, all of these, uh, quinoa, beans, all of these type of carbohydrates, whole food-based carbohydrates. Start to bring those back in. If still you're feeling like, I don't know if I'm, if I, if I'm doing good with this or I, I feel like I need a low-carb diet, the next thing I would suggest to try is to make sure you look at the balance that you're creating on your plate. So if you're eating carbohydrates by themselves, that could be increasing your hunger because there's not enough protein and fat perhaps in your meal to stabilize the effect of the carbs. So before you just say, carbs aren't for me, carbs are terrible, they're screwing me up, my blood sugar's all over the place, whatever, number one, get rid of the processed carbs. Number two, make sure you're eating balanced meals. So anytime you're eating something starchy, like a sweet potato, put a tablespoon of coconut oil on it. If you're eating, um, you know, some black beans, have some avocado with them. Anytime you have a starchier carb, have your proteins and your fats with that food. And that will help to slow down the release of the sugars from the carbohydrates into your bloodstream. I hope this makes sense to you guys. Um, beyond that, if still you're like, ah, carbs are making me crazy, you may have um, some issues with regards to your blood sugar. You might have some irregular blood sugar patterning going on. You might have metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, diabetes or, or pre-diabetes. Those would be the next things to start to look at. Um, if you are drinking tons of caffeine, that could be sending your blood sugar all over the place, which is making you crave the carbs. So carbs are not bad. We need carbs. As always, individualize your diet based on you. If you're exercising a lot, you're going to need more carbs. If you're super sedentary, you'll do better with less. 
again, it all depends on you. But reach out to me or to another nutritionist. And if you're struggling with this at all, get some help. Because if you cut out one macronutrient group entirely, eventually that is going to have a negative effect. If you go super, super low carb and you hang out there for too, too long, you could develop issues with adrenal fatigue. You could develop issues with a, with your thyroid. Um, hypothyroidism is, is being correlated oftentimes now with um, really low to low carbohydrate diet. So be careful with this stuff, go, guys. Don't just, you know, jump from one thing to the other. Get some help and make sure that you really individualize your diet to unique, amazing you. If you need any help, I'm always here. Info at tishamahar.com is my email. You can follow my Facebook page, Tisha Mahar and the Home of Living Live. And, um... Yeah, send me a message if you want to book a consultation, we can do that. I do consultations both in person as well as over Skype. Always here for you guys. I hope um, this video reached the right people today. Food is your friend. Carbohydrates are your friend. Um, sometimes it's just finding the amount that works right for your body. Have a great week, everybody. Talk to you real soon. Bye.